In this session, let's cover the Visual Builder. It's the tool that we will use to customize the design of all of our pages. From the home page, to the product page, to the checkout page, we will be able to create great design using the Visual Builder. It's no code and it's drag and drop, so it's very easy to use. I will separate the explanation of the Visual Builder into three parts, the settings of the builder, the structure of the page, and the advanced settings. We will do the settings and the structure now because it's what we need to build our store. And then later in this course, we will cover the advanced feature to be able to do animations and other cool advanced design. But for now, let's start with the settings. To access the Visual Builder, it's pretty simple. You just go on your store. For example, here we are on the home page, and then you just click on Enable Visual Builder here at the top left. Then here, you will arrive into the Visual Builder. So as you see, we can see some blocks, we can see some section, and this is what I will explain to you right now into this video, how this works, okay? So first, let's start with the different settings that we have here at the bottom. First, here we have the save button, so don't forget to save your work when you are done, that's important. Here on the exclamation mark, you can find some tutorials and some videos, so you can even learn more about the Visual Builder, that's pretty cool. Then on the next icon, you will see the different layers of your page, so the different sections and the different blocks and rules and all of that, so we will come back to it later. But if you want to have an overview of how your page is built, it's here. Then here, you have a little search with some shortcuts, some action that you can do quickly. For now, I would say just ignore it, but then when you will know the Visual Builder perfectly, you will be able to do things so much faster by using all of these shortcuts. Then here we have the portability option. So this option here will allow you to export your layout from the Visual Builder. And then after that, it will let you download the file on your computer that you can then import into any Visual Builder, either on your site, but also on another website. And then you will get the exact same layout with all the blocks and everything. So it's a very great way to duplicate pages or to send the page to a friend on another website. This is all done with this portability function here. Then here we have the history. So if you want to go back to a certain point of time of what you had before, you can just see your whole history here. So for now it's blank because we just started, but every time you do something in the visual builder, it will just add a new line here. So then you can easily come back. Just keep in mind that the history gets clear when you exit the visual builder. It will go back to blank like this to default. Um, then here we have a different setting of the page. So you can set up the title of the page here, the little excerpt. Then here you can put a feature image if you want. Then here you can set up the default background for your page. So content area background color or the section background color. So by default, when we will add a new content or a new section, you can set up the default background of this. So for example, if you want like a black website with all the backgrounds black, then you can just set it up here. And then by default, every new content that you add will have a black background, it's pretty cool. Then split testing, just ignore it for now. We don't need it to build our website now. We are going to cover that later into this course. So here into design, we are going to be able to set up the default value of two settings. The first one is the gutter width. The gutter width is basically the gap between columns. Here, for example, we have two columns. We have one image on the left and we have the text on the right. And in between, you see there is, there is a gap. So we can set up the gap that we want between these two columns independently. And we can do it again here. And actually, every time we have multiple columns, we can decide independently what will be the gap between these columns. And if you want, you can also set up the default width on your page directly here. So for now, you can just leave it like this. It's completely fine. And then for text, that's the same idea. By default, which color you want for your text. So again, you can just leave it like this because we are going to be able to change the color, the font, the size, and everything for each text independently. But if you want to set up some different default option, you can change them here. And then here in advance, you can ignore for now. We will cover that in the more advanced video. The only thing you might want to keep in mind is that if you want to extend the capacity of Visual Builder by adding your own code, your own CSS, it's possible and you can just add it here. So don't worry, there's already so many things that you can do in the Visual Builder with zero coding. But if you want to go like even further and really unleash all the possibilities in terms of web design, this is here to add custom CSS.
This B cross just open and close the settings. Here you have a button to just delete everything. So you will just start from a blank page. So you probably don't want to do it now, but if you want to really design a completely custom page and you want to do your own design, then this is cool to just start from scratch. Then this button here will allow you to access your library. So in the library, you will be able to store entire page, but also just some part of your page to be able to reuse them very easily. So that's pretty cool if you want to use the same thing somewhere else on your store. Then on the next button, we have all the themes. Here, it is where you will find all the themes and all the templates available on Dr. Tech. So they is quite a lot. We have in total 318 themes at the moment that I record this video, but we had new ones every week. So it's possible that when you watch this video, there is already much more than that. And for every theme, then there is multiple templates. So you have, for example, for this one, that is like a jewelry type of theme. You have the home page, the about page, you have the blog page, you have the contact page, shop, you have a landing page as well, and the home page. So for every theme, that's the same thing. There is multiple layouts that are included, and there is 318 themes at the moment that I record this video. So there's really a lot of templates that you can use for your store and that can definitely help you get a very nice design super fast. And there's templates for really everything, for like more white websites, more colorful website, more dark website, like there's really a lot of things. And into this section, this is where you will find all the templates, all the themes that are available to you and they are all included for free so you can use anyone that you want. And then here you can like sort them if you want, for example, just food and drinks or just fashion and beauty. And then it will only show you the theme that are into this category. And here into saved layouts, this is your library. You can access your library directly from here. And here you can access your existing pages. So if you want to duplicate one of your pages, you can just access it here and it will just copy the exact same page in your current visual builder. And then same when you're here, if you want to use any of these templates, any of this theme, you can just click on it, choose the page that you want, for example, the home page, and then click on use this layout. Okay, we are, we are going to do that when we will actually design the store just a bit after. Then the option that we have here at the bottom left is first of all, the different view of our store. So you are able to see your store on desktop, on tablets, and on mobile. So this way you can see very easily how your store looks like on the different screen size. It's very cool. Then the next option just allow us to quickly go between the different options. We can zoom in or zoom out between the different view. That's pretty cool. And then the next one will show us the wireframe view, which means we will be able to see the different blocks and the structure, the core structure of our page. So here you can see the different modules that are used, the image, the row, and et cetera, et cetera, for the whole page. So it's pretty cool to understand how your page is made, how your page is done, and also to access quickly one element or another one because you can see them directly from here. So if you want to use that, you can do it from here, from the wireframe view. Then to show you the last one, we will just go back to the desktop view. And then here, the three little dots are the settings for your visual builder, which means there is a few things that you can change in terms of settings on your visual builder to fit your preference and to enhance your experience. And so here you can change the settings and they will be applied by default every time you open your visual builder. So the first thing that I like is actually to enable the three options here at the top because it will change the way that the elements get selected. So here you can see that if I just over the elements, it shows me which one we are selecting. But if I use this one, it actually gives me directly all the access to the settings of the, of the different elements. So based on what you prefer, you can either use this one by just overing, you see the settings, or this one where when you over, you you can see which elements you are targeting and then to access the settings, you have to click on it. Okay, so I see the settings after I click. Personally, I prefer this one, so I like to use this one. And the last one is going to create the grid view where you will see the settings directly of all the elements on your page. And so you can access them super quickly. You don't need to over, you don't need to click. So that's pretty cool. 
but personally, I prefer this one. Then here, by default, you can change if you want the desktop, tablet, phone, or wireframe view. Again, every time you open the Visual Builder for the first time, you can change the default view here. Then you have the default iteration mode. So this is what I just showed you just before with the click mode of the hover mode of the grid mode. So personally, I prefer click mode. Then here you can change how often you want to save things into the history. So personally, I like to keep it after every action because then every time I do something, I get a new point into the history and I can come back to this point very easily. So you can just leave it like this, it's completely fine. So the model is the settings of each block. So you see, we have the block here with the text and with the button to access its settings. We can click on the little wheel here and then we get a little pop-up window that appears with the different settings. This is what we call the model. And for that, you have different layout options. Either you can have a floating window like this, or it can be fixed on the left of your screen. You have the options here directly on the top right of your model. And personally, I like to keep it floating like this or to put it on the left. And you can change as well the size if you want. So once again, it's really up to you and, and the size of the screen that you use. If you are on a smaller screen, you might prefer like this because then you can just move it around. And if you have a very big screen, then you might like it here. So then you can see your page more clearly. Again, it's just your preference. And to change the default behavior of that, it is these settings here. So, so personally, I like to keep it just on last use position. It is completely fine. Then when we create a new page and we launch the visual builder for the first time on this page, we can either have a blank page and just start from scratch, or we can have the visual builder asking us, do you want to load a pre-made layout? So this is all the templates and all the theme that we have just seen before, or we can have the visual builder asking us to clone an existing page. Personally, I just prefer to keep it on give me a choice. So which means it will just present to us the three different options every time we open the visual builder for the first time on a new page. And then we can just choose what we want to do for this particular page. I think that's better this way. Then the builder has some animation, like for example, when we open the settings of this module here, it's getting slowly, like there's some sort of effect, like some fade in effect where it's, it's, where it's small at first and then it becomes bigger. So if you want to remove this type of thing, you can just turn it off here. And then when we open, it will just open directly. So yeah. Again, it's really up to you. I like to, I like to keep it on. Then you will see we are going to be able to disable modules and sections and things like that, and also to disable them only for certain type of screen. So this is going to be very useful. So for all these things that we disable, I recommend that you keep this setting on because then you, we will still see them on our page, but as 50% opacity. So we don't forget that they are here. So that's that's important. Then the next option will change what happened when you open the settings of a module or any element on your page. So for example, right now, when we open the settings, text is open, but then link, background and admin label, it's all closed. And same here, everything is closed. So if you turn this one off, then when you open the settings, then everything is open. Then it's a bit hard, I think, to find the information. So you probably want to keep that on. Then you want to keep the next one on as well, because when you will add a new text, for example, or a new image, it will put some content into it. So it's easier to see what you are doing. So you want to keep this one on. And the last settings regarding the theme builder. So it will allow us to modify the elements of the theme builder, like the header or the footer, for example, directly here into the visual builder in any pages. So we will cover the theme builder into the next section of this course. So don't worry for now, just leave it on, on, it's just better this way. That was it for the different settings of the visual builder. Now let's go to the next section.